Hey there, brawlers. This is what we've been waiting for. This is why I haven't uploaded all week. It is time to show off Lou. I have been spending this week behind the scenes, hands on, with the newest brawler in Brawl Stars. And I'm going to tell you exactly how he works. So do not go anywhere. Make sure you watch this video all the way through for the tips, tricks, and facts about Lou because eventually I'm going to tell you if I actually think he's any good or not. Also, please remember that I do have a creator code now. Code Falcone is available in the store. Uh, using that code helps me out a bunch. It helps support me and helps me to make videos like this. Also, if you're watching the day this video went live, it's actually my birthday today. Hi, happy birthday. I'm streaming on Twitch right now, the moment this launches. So uh, come say hi. It'd be cool. Smash the like button, comment, surprise. Uh, smash the like button, comment, subscribe. You know how it is. And now... Let's get into it. Lou is the snow cone brawler, and as such, he shoots three snow cones for his regular attack, each one dealing 532 damage. Of course, I'm talking about at level 10. He'll be dealing less damage at the lower levels. His range is considered very long and his reload speed very fast, although I have found that he does struggle a little bit with some of the other ranged brawlers. More on that later. He has a normal movement speed and 3,920 health. It's not one of the tankier brawlers in the game, but also not one of the flimsiest. His gadget is called Ice Block, and it turns Lou into an, well, Ice Block, freezing him for one second, meaning that he can't be dealing any damage, but he also won't be taking any. His super is called Can Do, where Lou will lob syrup all over the ground in a large circle, making it very hard to maneuver for enemy brawlers. They'll be slipping and sliding and essentially be pretty hard to control in general. We've never seen a super like this in Brawl Stars before. It doesn't damage, it doesn't cause damage over time, it's not really area denial, but it is going to make brawlers harder to control. Really interesting stuff. But now let's talk about Lou's main mechanic. What happens when you attack your opponent with Lou? Again, this is a new mechanic. A little frost logo appears on screen by the enemy brawler's name if you hit them with Lou's attack. This ice debuff then remains with the enemy brawler, lowering itself very slowly over time, but it really does take a long time to get rid of it. It's almost its own form of damage, but it's much more permanent than actual health damage. If you hit a brawler enough times that that frost logo fills up, that brawler is going to freeze, but only for a second. After that second, the enemy brawler goes back to normal with that frost gauge reset once more. Using Lou's attack is not the only way to fill up the enemy frost gauge though, as if you have his star power, that's going to do some work too. With Lou's star power super cool, enemy brawlers standing on his super zone will get their frost gauge filled up, just like if they were being hit by Lou's regular attack. Now, let's start with the star power. There are perks, obviously, but also some cons to using this. The biggest con that I can see with this super is that put yourself in this scenario. If you're Lou and you send out the super, but you get eliminated while the enemy brawler has his frost gauge almost filled up. They can actually take advantage. If there's no enemy brawlers around, they can go into the super, choose to get their frost gauge filled up, because then a second later, it will be completely reset. Of course, if there's no enemy brawlers around to take advantage of the fact that you're frozen, that can actually work to your advantage. That means that people playing as Lou and using his star power need to be very careful about when they use their super. It should be used strategically in a way that most confuses enemy brawlers and also sets you up for a kill. Lou is an extremely interesting brawler, and if I had to hazard a guess now, I would say he's going to be one of the hardest to play. He's not fantastic in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Again, he's, he doesn't deal loads of damage and he doesn't have loads of health. So in lots of one-on-one -on -one situations, he is going to come out, well, not on top. Obviously, close range brawlers might struggle against him a little bit. Your Franks, your Jackies, your Rosa that don't have the range to hit him. If he can just keep his distance, he can get away. He can keep freezing the enemy brawlers and eventually get that health down. But other brawlers that have a large amount of DPS, like... I don't know, Amber are going to make short work of Lou. Brawlers like Spike are also very difficult to deal with because Spike deals damage in such huge bursts that it's bye-bye Lou, really. 
Where Lou is really going to shine is in these tactical 3v3 scenarios. If you're trying to participate in a team fight, the thing that you don't want happening is ice beneath your feet, meaning that you can't successfully dodge shots. Lou's super could be the difference between winning a team fight and losing a team fight. Imagine you've got a friendly Piper trying to hit shots against an enemy bee and the bee's evading the fire, you can't quite hit her. Well then, Lou uses the super. It might freeze the bee, but even if it doesn't, the bee is going to lose their footing, meaning they start sliding along the map, and it's going to be a much more predictable path for the Piper to hit. Don't forget, Lou is also going to be dealing plenty of damage himself. It's easy to forget about the damage that Lou deals and only think about the freeze mechanic, but Lou also has got some fight in him. In fact, a lot of the time, the freeze mechanic isn't even going to come into play. Because Lou does deal reasonable amount of damage quite quickly, much more quickly than he fills up the freeze gauge, it's only going to be the tankiest brawlers or enemy brawlers that get healed back up again that really get frozen to begin with. You need to be playing with really good teamwork if you want to successfully utilize Lou. But when you do, it's going to feel glorious. Disorienting your the enemy team and really taking advantage of that to get that sweet W, that's what Brawl Stars is all about. Come on, for the lore, you gotta play Lou, Mr. P, and Gale, right? That's, that's the squad. Is that a good squad? Lou, Mr. P, Gale? Mm, not really. So in short, Lou is a very interesting utility brawler. He doesn't have much defense and will go down easily to enemy brawlers if he's not paying attention. You have to be prepared to dodge those shots with Lou and you definitely cannot play too aggressively. But if you do find yourself in a situation where you can take advantage with a team battle and really use that super to mess the enemy team up, that is where Lou is really going to shine. You're probably not going to want to be jumping in with him in solo showdown, but games like Bounty, Gem Grab, and Hot Zone could be really cool for Lou. I mean, in Hot Zone, you could basically cover the whole zone with the super. That could be really slippery. I also want to add that Lou is another one of the really cool new additions to Brawl Stars. It feels to me like the dev team are getting more and more wild with what they're willing to add to the game. You know, ever since Sprout and Gale, we've seen brawlers like Surge with the new level up mechanic. We've seen Colette with the health percentage ga gadget. We've seen Amber with instead of ammo, individual ammo shells, it's just like one bar. And now we've got Lou with a whole new mechanic. I just cannot wait to see what they add to Brawl Stars next. I don't think there's any risk of Lou being as strong as Amber was before she was nerfed again yesterday. I don't see Lou as being a particularly powerful brawler. If anything, I'd be expecting Lou to get buffed more than I'd be expecting Lou to get nerfed, but that is just my opinion. I might be completely wrong. Things might switch around when we see Lou in the hands of some of the best players in the world. But of course, before that, the Brawl Stars World Championships take place next week. Make sure you don't miss it. Also, it's my birthday today. Did I did I mention that? It's, it's my today, today's my birthday. Create a code Falcone. Happy birthday, me. Guys, thank you for watching. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. All of the best Brawl Stars, sneak peeks, and esports news coming soon. Available right here. Thanks for watching. Most importantly, keep on brawling.